In a circuit shown, a fixed resistor connected in series with battery and re variable resistor. One, two. Power dissipated in resistor X is 7.2 watts. This is power. Think of this as like, you know, getting hot, the energy come out, oh, then got power. Lo. And this happens when there's a current of 3 M passing through it. We can say, oh, 3 amps. So in this very first part, I already have P and I have I. I should already have an idea of, oh, I can use an equation that has P and I in it. Maybe find R. Maybe. Okay, never mind. We see the next part. So now you adjust the resistance of this one. You see this arrow, right? Means the resistance can change. And now you change until the power increased by 50%. Wow, plus 50%. Oh. That means my original 7.2 watt now have to be 150%. So what, over 100 lah. So times 1.5. So the new power is going to be 10.8 watts. Oh, okay, power coming out of this one. What is the new current? Now, if we try to solve VIR, VIR, and then see how the thing change, oh, can, la, but it'll be a very long process. Here's the shortest shortcut that you can use for this. The very first time I see P and I, I can already ring some bells. Oh, there's a power equation. P equals to I squared times R. There's also others. Ah. P equals to I times V things like that. So I'm going to use this to create a relationship that will link together scenario one where the power is low and scenario two where the power is higher. But you see, oh, when the power change, the potential difference is also changing. So the ratio of this V is changing. So I don't like that. Let too many things change. Current change, vote, votes also change. So I don't want to use this one. I want to use R because I know no matter what current, what potential difference, the R is still constant. Hence, I can say P is proportional to I square. Power uh, thrown out by this one. So I can also say oh, P over I square is constant, no? which is R. Now I do my ratio. In the beginning, power is very small, 7.2. And the current is 3 amps. Okay, 3 square. After I change something, the power become 10.8. Then the current, eh? don't know, I put I square first. But I know the ratio is the same because R is constant. So here you can find your I law. Press calculator. Don't forget the I square. Eh? 7.2 divided by 3 square. 10.8 divided by answer. Correctly or not? Ah, with seven. Okay, see, I always press wrong calculator. Three square. Okay, ten point eight divided by the answer. Don't forget to square root. Three point six seven four. M. If you forgot to square, or I mean, if you forgot to square root, you might choose fourteen. Ah. so if you chose D, forgot to square root. So best choice here is going to be. 3.7, so that's B over here. 